Hey everyone, today we're talking about the Material UI app bar component. It's this big bar on the top of the pages that you see. So this is a app bar and we're going to talk about the implementation from Material UI. So as you can see here, to install this component, you just simply include Material UI slash core in your project. This code sandbox that we have here already has that installed. And so you just install that one library and then you can get to the slash app bar here. And then, yeah, so that's the app bar. And then to render it, you just render it at the top level of your component that you are the top part of your app that you want it to be rendered in. And inside of that, you'll just have the components that represent these uh, things here. And so we have a couple of examples that we show here, different props. So mostly just changing the color and the height. So we're gonna talk through the different props for the app bar and how you could use those. So first we can go here. And so we also are gonna talk about the toolbar. So we have uh, all this information here on our blog here. And so the blog has these um, examples here that, that are you can take a look at and then uh, different types of scenarios. And we also are gonna talk today about the custom React nav bar if you don't wanna use Material UI's app bar. So just implementing this. The main takeaway with this component is that there's not a lot to render this. So just a couple of different CSS props here to get this going, uh, the main one being position fixed. So position fixed fixes it to the browser's window. And so CSS position property by default, it's static. But if you use the fixed as the nav or the app bar does by default, the element is positioned to the browser window. And so that's pretty useful because you can then put some content below that and and you can just basically have that component sit at the top of your page. So like this, and so it also stretches all the way across. And sure enough, if we go up here to W3Schools nav bar and we inspect that, it is, we click this up here, it is position fixed and top zero. There's also the top zero. So where are we going here to the example here of the other sandbox. So if you scroll down, you can open this sandbox. And in this example, this is the custom CSS for this. And so position fixed. So here you could see this is where we define that. This is also what Material UI is gonna use most of these. So with 100%, some Z index, and then the box shadow. So if we go back here, the main thing to know about this component inside, it's actually just a paper component. So if you're familiar with paper, this is just a paper with some extra props. So the props just change the style, like position fixed. And yeah, that's basically it. Now you're, that's just the, the positioning of the outside rectangle, Material UI's version. We're done talking about this one for a second. We're gonna go back to Material UI. Uh, so this one, as you can see here, this one has some you know, flex box behavior inside of it. And what that is, is the toolbar. And so the toolbar is just some padding. So if we go here, we talked about the toolbar in our blog post here. So toolbar uh, doesn't, so the app bar, we're talking about the app bar before, that's just the bar, it doesn't include the toolbar. The toolbar is what is inside of this right here. And the toolbar is just a flex uh, to like a div along with, uh, vertically centered. So that's how it, it centers it vertically and a min height of 56 pixels. So that toolbar is going to stretch this 56 pixels. The align item center is going to center that vertically and the flex box is going to make those components go uh, this way horizontally. So you can read more about this. In our example, we use the flex grow one. So how we get this name, it's a better example right here. See how this this stretches all the way across? All you have to do, because you're inside of a flex box, you just say flex grow one. And so this is um, how Material UI does it in their examples. And basically that's your child, your element that you put in there. So you have to kind of follow this. So you're basically like, the app bar is just, like I said, that from here on out, you have to remember to do a toolbar. And then if you want this, flex grow behavior, you have to add that in yourself. 
And so as you can see here on Material UI's uh, first example, simple app bar example, they set the title to have flex grow one. So now you know why they have this here. Root flex grow also has one here and not quite sure why they need that, but they, they have that here on the root element above the app bar. So this is changing the position prop. So you could change the position prop. Um, this just sets the position to be static or any of the other CSS position props. Now also there's other props here. So you have color. So for color material UI, you can set a couple different of the fixed variants like default, primary, secondary, transparent. And I think these are, that's pretty much all you could set from the, and that's going to look at your theme colors, right? So two, so two is going to be primary, three is secondary here. And there's also transparent. Now, if you want your own custom color, we do that in our example where we do custom color class, we create a custom color class, and then we set the background color. So any CSS property here is just going to go right on the whole outside of it. So if you want to do anything else in here, like set a height or anything else, like in this one, we set the height um, in that class. And so you could set, that's how you set this, the height or the color. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. The other props, let's see if we can talk through some of the other props. If we go look at the API, like I said, I pretty much think we went over it. So like position is any of the absolute position fixed is the default here. And that's just going to go right on the div or the paper component. Any of the paper uh, props are available on this component. Like we talked about the color and then classes and children just are basic React or Material UI props here. So yeah, that's the app bar. It's a pretty simple one and check it out on our website. If you like this video, we have a free template that you could download on our website. So just go to Material UI templates or check the link in the description.